Hi. Well, uh, I'm here really to ask for your help um, uh, to do with an idea I've got for an organisation, a uh, non-profit start-up um, called paramojo.org.uk. Um, it's basically about two things. Um, the first being um, a, uh, a community cooperative business uh, that is making uh, a product, a seed product, um, uh, to start to generate revenue. The other side is, uh, in effect, kind of like a maker space, in fact, a maker space, that then also works in conjunction with the main seed project. Um, and I'm looking for basically uh, people who've got previous experience of setting up um, non profit organisations. Um, especially things like maker hubs or um, uh, you know anything along those lines and equally including disability um, and I'm crap at this I'm going to have to script it because <laughs> I think it looks fine <laughs> anyway this shows you I'm shit at doing stuff to camera I'm much better behind camera so um... <laughs> I don't know. anyway I'm Sam Hamer uh, this is uh, Paramojo. I'm just wondering if that cancelling that will make the, the supposed autofocus work better. Anyway, uh, my name's Sam Hamer. Uh, I've thought of an idea, basically, and it's called Paramojo. And it's literally about um, the fact that uh, when I was younger, my dad uh, helped run a company, and at the time they used disabled centres and amazing disabled people and I work for uh, the company it's called Auto Products it's still in existence it's moved to North Wales or Wales Way um, and um, so <laughs> I worked in the warehouse for a year I equally trained um, somebody with quite more severe learning dis dis disabilities basically um, so it's providing employment and one of the things I, I, I'm, I've come from a background in TV film and visual effects and um, I started off at Pinewood Studios. Uh, but I had some problems um, in my, my more, more mature years, as it were. I'm getting on a bit now. Um, and um, it, it raised the ugly head. Basically, my, my eldest son's got autism. And in fact, really, I've likely got, well, I've got definitely got ADHD and um, autistic traits. And I, I've been finding it um, after um, gender reassignment surgery. I found it really difficult to get back to work or for employers to take me seriously. So I thought I'd run with a, um, an idea I had kicking about when I started off working for a company called Avid Technology based at Pinewood Studios and just always having a love of special effects um, uh, and stop frame animation um, despite being in, in the uh, visual effects and uh, 3D CGI. Um, field, but on the technical side, because um, even some of the the, the software I, I worked on when I had was uh, Softimage uh, 3D and XSI, and uh, I remember working on a, a, a helping having to help out on a, f uh, a TV series called Dinotopia being filmed at Pinewood, um, and they were using robotic rig rigs to uh, so people would sit on top of them in front of a green screen or blue screen. And uh, the CGI would help drive these robotic rigs, and um, and as we saw in the new Star Wars movie, it, nothing really replaces the physical. Now you can digitally enhance it; that works. Be subtle. Um, so I started thinking of um, a more inventive uh, robotics system. Um, that basically, um, I was just waiting for some technology to catch up to, to make it suitably miniature enough um, and uh, powerful enough in terms of motors and stuff for it to do it. But based on around physiology, mismatching uh, real life physiology, as, as artists generally do um, to create characters, um, there is also sort of a spin off in terms of uh, with the technology. Um, it means you kind of, it, I turned it in 2007, I coined it. Um, antibiotics because the idea was is that you could in effect stop frame the robot and then play back the animation effectively in real time so 
but the other thing I wanted to do is create some accessibility because I'm just not, I've been finding it so difficult to sort of um, get in there, get help or get back to work even. So, um, uh, like I said, it also has um, applications uh, for, um, uh, uh, for um, rehabilitation and disability assessment, psychological, you know, um, so using it, say, in the EEG and interaction and monitoring it with a person or a young person or a child, it can help with therapy and diagnosis too. Uh, something I know MIT, they had a, a particular robot did it, but it cost a fortune and it's trying to make this sort of really accessible but start in a very simple way by starting making a, um, um, some very very clever um, effectively collectibles that then drives the ability to uh, uh, invest in the technology and also invest in the people so on one side it will be a, uh, a community cooperative business uh, that generates the revenue with the seed project um, and that also would then also need the setup of a maker space. And the idea behind that is to also provide accessibility and a means to train people all backgrounds, but also with a very good, with a focus on uh, giving neurodiverse or disabled access. Um, but a collaboration, so I want people involved who are, per, you know, very able uh, as well um, to, to mix it up. Uh, but it's, it, it's about that, it's about those two components uh, and those two components are, like I said, a, a seed project that, uh, and a, a maker space. So a community non-profit business that funds uh, uh, an, a cross-pollinating, if you might say, uh, um, paradigm. So the other thing is um, with that is that the seed project in itself, because it stays will help educate, help through all other projects, um, and it would help then crack a training program, so from the makerspace, which is public accessible, and giving that public accessibility, because um, a lot of people who have amazing ideas, amazing minds, um, etc., even if they have a disability, um, literally are, find it hard to get work, find, uh, or get back into work, and find it hard to, um, effectively, um, even if they've got amazing CV and they've worked before and they suddenly become disabled, um, that, um, uh, God, I'm, I'm going to have to some way script this because I, I am terrible at being in front of camera. Um, I'm much, like I said, I've come from a techie background, so I'm much better behind it. Um, so I'm going to have to try and figure it out. <laughs> Sorry, excuse my French. Okay, and uh, hopefully it looks all right. This is just my home. <laughs> my crazy home has, has my musical instruments and shit. Okay, um, well, I'll, hopefully you get something from my friggin' rambling. Anyway, I'm going to post it up, and then you can comment on it, and I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll try and do another one, script it, prepare it a bit better, maybe chop it, edit it, or whatever. <laughs> Um, but at least you've got something which starts to get the gist of where I'm coming from. Um, it, 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 you know, it's it's it, it, it's just an idea which is, you know, uh, yeah. I'll start again. <laughs>